Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to mask. So first you're going to want to open up GIMP. I'll put a link to this in the description, this free program. Um, yep, yeah, so this is actually a pretty simple process. This is the easiest mask I think that you can be done in GIMP. So we'll just close this for now. And you're going to need two pictures. Which to load one with the blank background, one with your figure. I didn't take these pictures very well though. They're very different, so this might be a little hard. But you go file, open, go to where you saved your images, and you select the picture with the blank background and open it. Next, go to file. Open as layers. Then, right click. Go to layer, mask. Add layer, mask. Make sure it's on white full opacity. And add it. Right click again. Go to layer, mask. Apply layer mask. Uh, zoom in if you need to. Select this little rope tool thingy and select the area in which you want to to delete so I'm just gonna do this as quickly as possible yep so you're gonna wanna just outline it Okay. Now you're going to want to press delete. And as you can see, there's a huge contrast in between the two images. So, yeah, this I didn't take these pictures very well, but you should try to take your pictures as close as possible. Okay, now, zoom out. Get your eraser tool. Go to the blurriest brush. Uh, up the size a little bit and just blend it. Usually this blending will work a lot better if your pictures are closer but this is so, so such a huge difference that it's going to be hard. So this isn't a very good quality. Uh, these two shots aren't very good so anyway I just want to uh, yep just try to fade it as much as possible. Or, if you do end up with a really bad shot like this, you could outline the whole figure, go to select, invert, and then press delete, and it'll delete everything except the figure, and it's leaving the whole back background. So you could do that if your, um, if your, uh, pictures are very contrasted like these. Okay, once you're done, go to file. And you're going to want to overwrite JPEG and make sure this bar is always at 100. Export it. And yep, that's how to mask. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.